the air is cool, the leaves are turning, and wedding bells are ringing. <sighs> What? It's not June. But have you noticed that so many brides are choosing fall for their weddings? I'm no bride and I'm definitely not an expert, but I do have Dina Schickman, wedding planner from Hand in Hand Weddings and Events here with me today to help unveil the mystery. So have fall weddings always been popular or is this something new? Uh, I think it's becoming more popular nowadays, especially because Certain venues and certain vendors book up so quickly for the summer. You mm. almost have to book them. Right. You you either have to be incredibly flexible with your date, or you almost have to book them like a year and a half in advance. You know, it depends on the vendor and it depends on you know what you're looking for. But if you're flexible with dates, then you know it works out for you. Right. And what kind of trends can we expect to see then for um, fall 2016 and winter 2017? So. Um, a lot of like darker kind of decor colors. Uh, people are kind of not doing the typical blush and navy. Right. So people are trying to kind of go out of the ordinary. Um, in terms of bridal gowns, there's tons of different styles coming out right now. Um, a lot more sheer, but then there's also like different collections that completely are just clean cut okay. like no embellishments nothing like that really so very simple looking very and... simple very elegant very like just clean cut timeless. Yeah, yeah just timeless and then there's you know there's also like a bunch of designers that came out recent well not recently but they gained their popularity recently right. especially through social media and they specialize you know in more like intricate designs and sheer bodices and you know big dramatic trains right. so we're expecting to see a lot more of that now that people have you know, really joined Pinterest and Instagram yes. and started following all these yes. designers. So I've been working a lot with bridesmaids and I've kind of tried to influence my brides to stay away from the whole one dress, nine girls. Right. I was going to ask you because I know a lot of my friends have been getting married and, um, or are being in wedding parties as well. And that's the big thing. Like everybody's dress is similar, but it's not the same. Exactly. And I mean, we have to remember like, every girl has a different body type yes. and that's okay. And not every single dress will look the same on every girl. Right. And you want to kind of play to their strengths and their best features, you know? And so I, I recommend doing a couple of different things. One is you could do like same color palette. You don't even need to do the same color. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, like maybe ombre or different shades of, you know, if you were to do pink, different right. shades of pink. Um, or you could do completely different dresses, but in the same exact like color, like dye lot. But a lot of bridesmaids are doing completely mismatched things now, different materials, different styles, different cuts, different lengths. And, you know, it, it helps because again, our bodies are different and right. everyone's style is different. Different things look good on different people. Right. So, and is the maid of honor then always a little more dressed up? A little bit. And we play with that in terms of like, you know, we'll suggest maybe adding a sparkly accessory in terms of like yeah. a belt or, um, you know, a big hair piece. Or for example, one of my best friends got married and she had just a little bit of a bigger bouquet. And when you are planning the weddings, do you ever get full creative control? Maybe a bride just is so stressed out. She has no idea what she wants. She can't make up her mind. Uh, so you get to basically plan her whole wedding for her. So I, I'll talk about a specific situation. Okay. I mean, specific client. And so I had a client last year who basically had an idea of what she wanted and I was just there with her throughout every step of the way. So we did a very rustic kind of wedding for her. So we did like mismatched picture frames and very like pastel mismatched colors. It was really interesting. And yeah. what we did was we actually went to garage sales every weekend together. Yeah. 7 a.m. We were very committed and we just picked up like mismatched cool vintage pieces and it worked out great. Like their wedding was really, really cool. And she gave me control in terms of like, she gave me specific flowers that she knew she liked, but okay. she trusted me to kind of put them together within yeah. the, within her theme. So it wasn't it wasn't just about the centerpieces, the boutonnieres, the bridal bouquet. It was about right. the decor throughout the hall, right? For example, we had like this one headboard that was it was just a headboard that I found on the side of the street actually. <laughs> uh, painted it with chalkboard paint and like wrote a nice message and that was their the backdrop of their favors table. Oh nice. Or like we had 
um, a tea table. Like we didn't have a lot of desserts that we were serving. So we decided we were going to go the tea route since we're doing rustic. So yeah. I had this whole kind of three tiered display with the same flowers that she had chosen where it was like coming out of a teapot, all the flowers. And, you know, oh, it's, so it's nice that I was given that kind of, you know, control in yeah. terms of, in terms of theme, in terms of decor, right. in terms of kind of directing her, in terms of providing ideas. And I also, you know, was the day of coordinator. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, um, it's interesting what a clipboard does to your, uh, <laughs> to your image, you know, nobody was listening to me until I picked up a clipboard, <laughs> but you know, people, you know, trust wedding planners because right. they're like, oh, okay, this person knows where I have to be next or yes. what's coming up. So, you know, I definitely have been given that kind of control, not like full control because you obviously want to be a part of your wedding and right. that's understandable, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, you are the bride after I all, guess, right? right? <laughs> Um, what about the day of, you're saying you're running around with a clipboard, so does that mean um, you are there present at the wedding but you're working or can you uh, enjoy part of it? Probably my most important job the day of is to make sure things are on schedule because once things get backed up, it is really hard to catch up and then you don't get to do all the things that you plan to do. A lot of people are straying away from the whole Okay, sit, eat, 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 eat. Okay, dance. And then everyone's like, I can't dance anymore. Yeah. I just ate six courses, out. right? <laughs> um, so my job is to make sure that, you know, if we do have a speech blend for like 6.07, right. it happens at 6.07 or like 6.10 at the latest. You yeah. know what I mean? Because everything is by the minute. And it's important to keep to that so that, right. you know, the kitchen staff, there's a lot of people involved in a wedding. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just me, the bride, the groom, and the guests, uh, or, you know, up to 500 guests. Yeah. It's also like maybe 20 servers and 40 people in the kitchen right. and the management and the DJ and the, there's a lot. And so my job is to kind of keep everybody on a certain schedule yeah. and on the same page. What was the inspiration behind Hand in Hand Weddings and Events, which is your company? I've always been a fan of weddings. Like I think since I was a little girl, like I would yeah. go to weddings and I would just like be the last person that wanted to leave. Like my parents would be like, no, bedtime. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I, you know, I love looking at the brides. Like, I'll, even if I see, you know, brides doing photo shoots on the street, like, right. I'll stop and I'll just, I'll just watch. Like, it's so, you know, it's such yeah. a they're heartwarming like, moment. They're like princesses. Yeah. Almost, right? And it's like, you just see so much joy in their faces. You know, they're getting married. Like, yeah. it's a huge deal for them. And it's obviously a huge deal for anybody. And it's just, it's just nice to kind of be a part of that. And so I decided weddings because I was always planning things even mm -hmm. in high school like I was planning certain you know theatrical events or choreographing things or I was always involved in something planning right and so I thought why not weddings uh it was a great combination of like things that I was already able to do and I just kind of went head first into it so from watching a lot of shows on TLC and the W Network when I was little, I found out from a really young age that a wedding is the bride show. Like, right? Right. I mean, yeah. It's basically like she's the center of attention. Mm -hmm. um, but in reality, how much input does the groom actually have? To me, at the end of the day, it's what makes the couple happy. And there are certain ways to appeal to the groom as well. Definitely you could do like cigars or... Yeah different kind of alcohols because you know men enjoy you know manly, manly things, things. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so you just need to find a happy medium in terms of making sure the groom is a part of it as well and how many times have you changed up your dream wedding oh, since gosh. you started hand in hand um probably seven thousand times yes yeah. um <laughs> i definitely have already picked out my vendors Oh, yes. I haven't told them about it yet, but I definitely know who I'm going to hire for for what. Well, thank you so much, no, Dina. My pleasure. I really appreciate uh, you coming here and talking about weddings. Now, I could talk about weddings for days. Well, so could I, but <laughs> um, before you go, though, we actually have a little game for you. Okay. So I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and you're going to answer with the first thought that pops into your mind. Okay. And obviously, it's wedding-related. All right. All right. Let's you ready? I, I think so. Okay. <laughs> what is the most requested wedding cake? Red velvet. <laughs> on average, how many dresses does a bride try on before the right one? 15. How much would a bride spend on her own gown? Up to 20,000. Who's your favorite designer? Oh, that's hard. I work with, right now, currently I work with like, Galia Le Havre and Berta and Inbal Jord, Oscar de la Renta. So it's so hard because all of them have such 
unique, you know, attributes. I guess I'll find yeah. out when I buy my dress. Best wedding theme you've ever seen? I've seen like this gorgeous, whimsical fairy tale wedding where, you know, like there was like balloon, like hot air balloons as like the centerpieces, but they were like really like far up. So like everything that you could actually see was just kind of coming down from the hot air balloons, like the florals were just, yeah. oh my God, it was so <sighs> stunning. And it was, you know, every, there were like some glass details in the decor and it was just stunning. Most popular flower? So I, that is a trick question. So I will tell you the most useful flower is a hydrangea okay. because a hydrangea is actually like a fluffer. It takes up a lot of room and you can make Ooh. a bigger arrangement yeah. because you know, you can put things like, for example, like in this that I made, um, they have like freesia or, you know, like this is like a pussy willow or, yeah. you know, you can put in like accents within hydrangea. So I think that's my favorite flower in terms of versatility and in terms of usage. I've spray painted hydrangeas before to make them like a really unique color. Ooh. Yeah. And you can, you can paint any flower, any color. There's floral paint. That. So yeah, keep that in mind. Hmm. I will. Most unconventional venue. All the unconventional venues are actually popular right now. So you never like, know. Like what? Like industrial spaces that you can like really, you know, jack up or like barns. Barns are huge now. Like everyone wants a barn wedding. Like everyone wants like that rustic feel. Yeah. Nobody would really get married in a barn like 20 years ago no. when it wasn't that popular. Everyone no. was like, no, banquet hall only, you know? But now that whole rustic theme is so popular that barns are actually... Something that was unconventional is now super conventional, right? So, does Bridezilla really exist? Absolutely. No, I'm just kidding. I've had, <laughs> I've been very fortunate. Um, I've had so many really down to earth brides, and you know, when you're under so much pressure, it's hard to be nice to everyone all the time. Mm -hmm. So I just don't take it personally if a bride just has like a moment where she's like. <gasps> Snappy. Snappy at everybody. And it's not just, it, you can't take it personally. She's not like, you know, right. you're the reason that everything's wrong. Or she's like, mom, you're the reason everything's wrong. You know, it's just, it's just stress. And so, you know, I, I don't think it's like so much bridezilla, but you know, just a stressed out it's stressed, bride. Yeah. <laughs> stressed out human. And lastly, who's your favorite celebrity bride? I am really not the best pop culture person. I mean, I don't follow it super intently. Okay. I mean, so favorite celebrity bride would would kind of be a tough question for me. Not Kate Middleton? Sure, Kate Middleton. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with mine then. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dina. My pleasure. I really appreciate you coming here and talking to us about weddings. Yes. <laughs> um, and if anybody is in need of help for planning their wedding, do keep Dina in mind because weddings are her thing. So <laughs> she will make sure that your wedding is as special as it can be. And now, something a little for my non-engaged friends. Oh hey, did you like that interview? Because there's another one over there. Lady K, out.